Well, hello, TRM partners. Pastor Philip with Mama Alberta, and we are just excited about sharing with you another weekly word. Yes. Uh, we just trust that you're taking these words not just for a moment of uplift, but you're taking them and applying them because this is what God is speaking. This is, this is what's so important about partnership because uh, being connected with a particular ministry gift, then that ministry gift is giving to who's connected to it a word in due season that will be able to apply right. in the very moment you're living in. And, uh, you know, uh, Alberta, we're on a fast here at FVC, Faith Victory Church. And uh, you TRM partners, those of you that may be elsewhere, you can jump on board. We're fa we fast in 10 days. Yeah, we're fasting 10 days, uh, vegetables and water. You know, uh, we read about it over in Daniel. And uh, the reason being is God orchestrated this thing in line with Rosh Hashanah. A lot of our partners do know about it from watching the services. Yeah, last yeah. Week. Well, there might be somebody that's not a partner okay. that uh, is checking us out and whatever. But Rosh Hashanah started uh, on September 6th, I believe it was. Uh, that's yeah, that's the, the Jewish New Year's. And then 10 days later, it, it goes from sundown the 6th till sundown the 8th. So the 7th is all day New Year's celebration for the Jewish people. But their celebration is self-inventory. Uh, in other words, at the beginning of New, New Year's, you know how we do our New Year's. We self-evaluate. Well, I'm going to exercise more. I'm, I'm going to uh, write problem. that book. I'm going to pray more. I'm going to study the Word more, whatever. And, uh, you know, we, we evaluate where we are and where we want to go. Well, they do it with sin. And sin. with sin, do oh, they have yeah, yeah. sin in their life? I was gonna say and they 10 sin. days later, they have what they call Yom Kippur. Yeah. And so they call those 10 days the days of awe. Well, I didn't know any of that. You know, I'm not, I'm not a, a Jewish scholar. Why do they call it days of awe when they're, they're checking out if they have sin in their life or not? I, I'm looking at. Because in the, in what, what's awesome to them is that sin can be eliminated okay. and your name can be written in the book of life. And so that's what yeah, they do. That's good. They, they, they want God to convict them mm. of whatever might not be right in their life. And they got 10 days to get that right all the way up to Yom Kippur, which is the atonement. Okay. And so they call that the 10 days of all. And those that uh, get it right, their names are written in the book of life. Those that don't, their names are written in the book of death. Now that's, that's Jewish, real interesting, that's right? Jewish yeah. tradition, right? Now, I don't know that all Jewish people adhere to that, but I know that uh, probably 99% of Jewish people uh, recognize Rosh Hashanah as the new year. Yeah, well, in, in Faith Victory Church, we just celebrated our 29th uh, year on September 4th. 29 being, according to E.W. Bullinger, the number of expecting judgment. And I didn't know that when the Lord told me that this year would be the year of judgment. Yeah. Good for believers, severe, severe for the wicked. Severe, severe. Right? And so here we are in these 10 days uh, where uh, all of the church is eating uh, what, what uh, in the book of Daniel chapter 1 calls pulse, right? And drinking water. No sodas, no Kool-Aid, no juices, no, none of that, just straight up water. And 
uh, vegetables. And so uh, in all of this, we're in pursuit of wisdom. It was, it was just a uh, Holy Ghost interruption uh, Sunday, the September 5th, when the Lord just, boom, just dropped on the service and let us know that, well, all of us need wisdom. Mm -hmm. All of Everybody. us. Everybody. In many areas. Yeah. yeah. And so... In every area of our life we need the God's fasting wisdom. for us personally mm -hmm. is for the purpose of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And when the four uh, Hebrew uh, men did this... Uh, Why do they call them Hebrew children? Are they children? Children of God. Hebrew they children. Were, they weren't children, real children? Oh, no, they weren't little fellas at all. No. Daniel was 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 older. Uh, but anyways, uh, they were supposed to be groomed by the king uh, to eat at his table and to be used by him, and they refused it, and they said, no, you give us vegetables and water and watch what God does prove us with this, right? And so uh, they, they, the guy that was overseeing them agreed to that. And in 10 days, 10 is the number of divine perfection of order. When those 10 days were up, they appeared healthier than all those that were eaten from the king's table. And God gave them wisdom, mm -hmm. supernaturally. It wasn't something they studied for. No. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a diploma that they got. Mm -hmm. They were given wisdom beyond their natural means. It's pretty wild. Yeah, it is. And, and, we uh, have that same ability. Well, this this is what this is what I want to talk about with our partners yeah. here. So uh, I wanted to preface that so everyone's on the same page as you read James chapter one and verse number five. Okay, it says, "If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it." It shall be given him. Okay. Now, God's not going to yell at you and scold you for asking him for wisdom. That's right, right, right. And he'll give it to you liberally. Liberally. Not just yeah. a little bit. You can ask him all day, all week, all month, constant. Yeah. And well, we had right that there. situation at our house with our lawn. And you were, you kept saying, well, what you going to do about it? And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we, we need wisdom on this. We need wisdom. I don't know what to do, right? And I'm not going to get all wrapped up in something and lose direction of what I'm what I'm called to do. And what happens? Boom, the wisdom came. Yeah, but boom, we got it after they took over. <laughs> they, wisdom came. Yeah. And uh, something we didn't know How about. How did we find out about? I don't uh, know, but wisdom came. And that else. situation's being taken care of above and beyond they didn't teach you about lawn care in cosmetology. <laughs> they didn't teach me about lawn care in AMP airframe and power plant <laughs> school. So it's beyond our education. Yeah, we don't even know how we But the wisdom yeah. came. And a lot of times wisdom, wisdom can come in many different ways. Okay. Wisdom for this came with people that knew what was wrong. It wasn't I was walking around and all of a sudden this wisdom flooded me. Oh, that's what's wrong with our lawn. That's not what happened. God sent somebody in that said, this is what's wrong with your lawn and this is how it's fixed. Yeah, but you got wisdom on it before they ever came. Yeah, I understand, so but not how to wisdom. fix it. Right. Not yeah. how to fix it. So in James chapter uh, 3 now, it says here, In uh, verse 17, but the wisdom that is from above mm -hmm. 
is first pure, yes. then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, and without hypocrisy. So the wisdom That's heavy. that comes from above. Now, My two God. verses prior, it talks about uh, devilish wisdom. Yeah. This wisdom descends not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. You know the devil can drop an inspired <laughs> idea. Idea, absolutely. And it turns out to be an Ishmael, right? This yeah, is this on. is demonic wisdom. Shh. It's beyond what you your education. And if you if you if you don't if you're not a word person, mm. then you can be gullible yes. and accept. Oh, I tell you what. Here's how we need to fix this debt thing. Mm. We just need to borrow this and and shift that money over there, and then uh, you know we can go ahead and get that furniture. Right uh, it's it's not no payments for uh, you know one year. And, one and year where's that wisdom cash. coming from? <laughs> See, it's earthly. It's sensual. It. It's devilish. But the wisdom that is from God, and this wisdom, Alberta. If you're not a doer of the word, forget it. That's it. If you're not, if you're not a doer of the word, Can't and you're asking for wisdom, uh, God might get you out of a jam. But as far as wisdom for, for uh, because you're going to need it to fulfill destiny, it's not going to happen. He might get you. He may give you wisdom to get you out of a jam, but you'll be shortly back into it. Yeah, and because Jesus said, to, "He that heareth these sayings." Of and mine do and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Yeah. So this wisdom that uh, we're fasting for, and uh, we're positioning ourselves for, God says, "Ask for it." That's right. Right? Yeah. Well, then why are we fasting if all we have to do is ask for it? We're positioning <laughs> ourselves to have our ears, our spiritual ears open, our heart open for that wisdom because a lot of times that wisdom will challenge you. Uh, always, always. God's wisdom always challenges you because you know, it's not like the world. Well, watch this. Uh, we, we just got back from Florida and found out that the lady that was uh, sitting Simon had dropped a sponge down in the dryer oh, van, she's right. right? And uh, <laughs> she was she was kind of uh, distraught she about was that. Very upset. Very and upset. You, she was wanting to pay for it and all this. And I said, no, 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 no. Calling people right? in to fix it. Well, uh, I said, I'll take care of it. Well, I didn't know all that was involved in that. I thought I'd just be able to just zip these two screws out and reach my hand down there and pull that sponge out. Because we didn't want to leave the sponge in with all the heat going on. Yeah. It might catch on fire or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I, I, I zipped those two screws out and I realized, uh-oh. Why that? This thing is way beyond this. And so I just backed off and I, and I told you, and I said, hey, uh, can I do this on Labor Day? Do you need the dryer? prior to that. And he said, no, that'd be fine. So uh, when I was praying that morning, I said, Lord, I need wisdom how to get this sponge because it was down inside underneath mm -hmm. the part that turns and you couldn't get to it from underneath. And uh, it, it appeared like there was no more screws to this thing to, that you could do. And I'm telling you, Alberta, I went up there and, okay, now do this. Oh, okay. I did that. Now take that off. Well, I took that off. Well, there's two screws. All right, now do that. Do this. It was like I had somebody over my shoulder yeah. whispering in my ear the next move. And when, and when the, the front of that uh, dryer, the sponge just fell out on the floor. <laughs> I didn't have to go searching for it, nothing else. It just fell out. And put that thing back together and... and uh, Honey, you always heard from God like that. 
Well, but but the, the point being, I am yeah. not an appliance man. No kidding. I worked on airplanes and all that and so on and so forth. And I can I could tell you, yeah, I eventually fig figured it out. But I know what was being deposited. That's what I'm saying. God's always given you wisdom like that. Well, and I asked for it. you do it. Exactly. I asked for you it. You ask for it and you also do it as he's given it to you. Yeah, well, he'll do that for anyone. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? That's and, and you say, well, that's that's just a dryer with oh, a sponge in it. No, no, no. Folks, God, God's wisdom is for everything. Yes. It's the principal thing. It's exactly right. You need wisdom on that child. Oh, boy. That one that's, Excuse you know, me, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't want to doesn't want to do, apply himself with, with uh, you know, his school books or whatever. You know, and 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 you you just you're gonna need wisdom on how to uh, get them through that particular uh, age and season of their life. Uh, wisdom, you starting a business up, and you're gonna need wisdom because a lot of people start businesses up. They just go in and throw everything on at it, and you know, and they the thing goes under they because they didn't they didn't do it. Did God tell them to start a business? Yes. Did, did they start it the right way? No. You need right. wisdom. You know, in these times, because we're about, we're entering into an extremely awesome time. And if you're not hearing from God, or if you're not spending time with God, finding out, he's like, you're going to miss out and you're not going to know what to do. Because yeah. things, life as it as it was, is over, over. Whether you're a Christian or not a Christian. Yeah, the best we're living, the best is yet to come. Exactly. Well, but you need to know God's wisdom. Wisdom comes in many different ways. You remember when we went down to the lake, uh, three days on that soup fast. We got away. The whole place down there was vacant. It was in the winter time, and uh, we we were able to secure a, a room there. Uh, and there was everything. The marina was shut down. Everything, and we were virtually down there by ourselves, which was fine with us. And we stayed in that little room, and and we ate our soup, and we prayed, and we're asking God for Seeking wisdom. Seeking God, yes. And we heard nothing. Nothing. Three Man. days, three nights. Yeah. And, and you're asking me all the time, what's God saying? What's God saying? You know, and I'm we're studying the word because God can give you wisdom Absolutely. right out of his word, right? At most of the time. And we're consuming this, consuming this. And both of us, we were kind of like, man, you know, we thought we were going to go down there and have this supernatural encounter. encounter with God, yeah. But we were driving out, huh? That's powerful. And then there's this big billboard. We had driven probably about a half hour by then. Well, I don't remember we that. Saw it. Yeah, coming, we were, but we were coming back road. home, and there's this huge, huge billboard, bright yellow, the whole thing. And in the middle of it, these two huge words in bright red. red. What did it say? Think big. Think big. And that was what That's it. We, that, that is what wisdom. God was trying to get us out of our little small thinking. Mm -hmm. And we heard from God. We heard from God. So Boy, our decisions so then that we were about to make, we went the big route mm -hmm. instead of the small route. That just that just eliminated all that over there. No, that's small. God said think big. So we choose the big. I mean, we didn't know how we were going to pay for it. We didn't know how we were going to do it. But, but God, we had a word from God. We had wisdom. And God, where the word of the king That's is. That's what he's saying right now. Think big. Yeah. That's a, that is a word for right now. Mm -hmm. Today. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And from here on. Think big. I wish I had that big old. I mean, that's it was so. It was before cell phones. It. Otherwise, yeah. we would have stopped and took a picture of it. I mean, how many years ago was that? Long time. Long time. And 
And here we are up at the lake, uh, Jamestown, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at these big yachts, these big houseboats. Mm -hmm. And we're like, whoa, you know, we were drowning in. Oh, it, it was above, we're way above where we were at to even think like that. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of overlooked that. We were just all in and, you know, go back to the room and have our little soup and get in the word and pray in tongues. And boy, it seemed like nothing. And all this extravagance is all around us, mm -hmm. all around us. Well, well, like building faith too, mm -hmm. right? Be, you know, before, before we went on air right here, mm -hmm. I, I went over uh, next door, next door. No, it's in the same <laughs> building. Same building. <laughs> it's over top of where they're taking the metal off a phase one roof and uh I'm 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 asking God what's our next step? Mm -hmm. What's our next step? Well we got, I went over there and and uh, talked to Pastor Desnor. I said here's our next step. Build this wall, build that wall, this and this. He said, okay. And he said, let me ask you a question. And he showed me this 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 part over here. And it uh to where we can have another uh, couple f feet of space that, that Pastor Desnor had wisdom on. I said, that's a great idea, do that. Space in where, the sanctuary? The new uh, sanctuary? On the stage part. Oh, okay. And I said, I said, wonderful. Yeah, that's just wasted space there, do it. And so that's wisdom, mm -hmm. see? We didn't know that. It's, it, it's coming to us because we're asking God who gives to all Oh, liberally, man, liberally, and he doesn't, he doesn't belittle you like, are you stupid? Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me that? You should have known that. No, he doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. God's God, God's not like that. So, partners, listen up. God can bring that wisdom to you many ways. He can yeah. have your five-year-old. That's right. Say just something. say something. That's totally answered. And, and it's like, did they just say that? Mm -hmm. And, and and boom, there it is. But because it was your five-year-old and it wasn't some uh, preacher, you, you're, you're just, no, that wasn't God. No, that was God. God can do all kinds of... Uh, he wants to. That's the whole thing. Well, it, God it, wants to be involved in our life. Remember what I said uh, last night in church about when I was studying on this wisdom uh, fast to tell the church we're going on this 10 day wisdom fast, remember? And I, and you know, down in my dream tank, I'll, I'll put a, a sports thing on, just every now and then I'll look up. Right when he is saying one, the, one of the purposes for this fast is wisdom, I look up and there is a guy at home plate with his last name is Wisdom. Awesome. Now, I've, 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 I've played baseball. Uh, there's many years I didn't know who was playing anymore, but, but now, uh, you know, God's given me sports again where I can at least, you know, put it on. I don't get really involved in it. This, guy, this guy's got Wisdom on the back of his jersey. And they I'm, showed the picture. Yeah, they showed the picture last night in the back of his uniform and found... Come to find out, his name is Patrick Wisdom. And now, now, now listen to me. I'm already knowing the direction we're going for. Yeah. But God spoke yes, exactly. through that exactly. to just drive the stake down, right? And then last night when they showed that to everybody, well, it did something for them too. Yeah. Right? So God has many ways. That's how, that's how God is. Oh. Uh, we're, we're talking to all our our um, partners. Like you said, there's probably some that aren't partners, don't know anything about us really. But you cannot live this glorious life that God has for you unless you start getting in the Word, finding out His ways, finding out God has so many wonderful, he's been lied about for centuries, 
but he's a bad God. He's a good God and he has a good life. And the wisdom that's from above wisdom. is gentle, peaceable, easy to be entreated. It doesn't bring confusion. Yeah. It'll be like, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> right? Sometimes you think it was you. <laughs> if you hear that, if you hear that noise in the background, that's music to my ears. <laughs> that's we progress. are under construction. We are over construction. We are in construction. Yeah. Here at Faith Victory Church, building our new sanctuary, actually building over the top of the church building we've lived in for many, many years, and we're excited about that. And so, uh, you know, the guys have asked me when we're recording, you want us to stop working? No. <laughs> Keep working. No. Keep working. No. Well, partners, we're going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord thank God, you, for all of our partners, yes. for their dedication, their commitment, and Lord, wisdom. Mm abounds to them. I thank you, Lord God, that every area that they need direction, mm -hmm. they need your wisdom. <clears throat> Important areas, right. necessary areas. Lord, that wisdom is being deposited. You're sending it to them. Some way, some fashion, in your still small voice, in the word, through through preaching messages, through uh, uh, fellowship, through uh, your many ways of getting the point across right. uh, to where your people understand that you're saying this is the way, walk ye in it. And we speak it so over their lives. And we thank you, Lord God, they're blessed. Spirit, soul, body, financially, socially, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. So be it a Man. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something so super about wisdom from God. A real short testament. P.S. P.S. Okay. When we first got born again, when we first, it, not born again, we first came up here, we were living in the camper. And we had that mildew, remember? Mm -hmm. And it was a brand new camper. And it kept smelling this mildew. Anyway, I, I went to God. And I, you know, hey. And so he came up in me to look up the word mildew in the Strong's, in, in Strong's Concordance. And I found it, and it was in, it was in, under the curse. The word mildew is under the curse. So we, we discovered, okay, it's a curse, don't belong to us. We came against it, got rid of it. It was about a day or two later, I'm driving down in Lexington. I still remember Nicholasville Road. I guess I was going, I don't know where, probably shopping at the mall or something. Well, unlikely, but anyway, I'm driving, and there was this Christian radio station. We used to listen to you were on it. And I, I, was, I had that, that uh, station on in my car, and this preacher says, you know, I wish I could say that the Bible had an answer for everything, but it doesn't, and I can't say that. Click, turned it on, and said, too late to tell me that. You know, I was still a young Christian. Mm -hmm. And I found God, I asked God about mildew. He gave me the wisdom. Look the word mildew up. It's in the Bible. Something that minute, you can't tell me. And you, and you, you spoke to it. Yeah. And we, got rid we, of it. We spoke to it, and God gave us wisdom. And, and here's a preacher. Saying that, I well, wish I could tell you. Well, this is what I'm saying, honey, that... I don't want to get me started. You, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm saying God will give you something as small as mildew yeah, sure. in your house. Sure. He can, no he matter cares. what it is. Exactly. No matter what it yeah, is. Exactly. So there's, he has wisdom for everything. Yes. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, <laughs> where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing.